so let me delete everything in here except the app class itself okay but there's one more thing that i didn't say uh when talking about classes and that is the constructor okay let me undo a little bit here so in here the way i've instantiated this app i can put some variables in here let's say um, or i can put a value let's say one or two the same way you actually add variables when um, calling a function let's say this function right here if it if it had variables here i could put them in here when calling it right but you can do the same thing when calling a uh, a class however how do you receive these uh how do you receive these variables sorry you will have to create what is called a constructor so it's called a function underscore two underscores and then it's called a constructor like a constructor or it's construct just like that okay so what this function does usually this is a public function now what this function does is that it receives uh from here so if i instantiate my class with this then i'll be i'll receive them from there so if i add a variable here like ver there so it means every time i instantiate my class like here i have to provide a variable here of some kind it could be text or it could be something i don't know whatever it is but you have to provide something because there's something there so the constructor is what represent this part okay so i had to get that out of the way so we need the constructing uh, the constructor in this particular app so i'll leave it there however we need to create uh, one more function here and this function is going to be uh, it's actually a private function because we only use it inside this class and I'm going to say uh, split URL something like that yeah that's what it's going to be okay so right about now uh, if I go to my page let me refresh this okay so this is clean everything is clean so what we want to do now is to create our router what we what we call the router so like i had said in this drawing this is the router right here the, the router is the one that decides which controller to actually load so that's the one we want to create now now like i said it gets its information from the url okay so right here we need to be able to access the url so since, since the constructor class runs immediately we can put our code in here now let me go back to my index.php and uncomment this so that app is equal to new app is actually active and now we can close our index page because we will never put anything else apart from here from what we what you see right now so let's close that that's that's done so now let's go to app.php so since we are we are instantiating this class inside the index.php it means this will run immediately we open our app so i can echo something here like say here just here just to see that it's actually running the moment we open our website boom, it's running right there so this is good now what i want to see is the the url right so what i want to see is let's say print readable the get so this is the get super global which is the one that gets whatever is inside here okay so let me refresh now and as you can see now it's an empty array unless if i had put a question mark here like a is equal to r or something and then i'm going to get something in that array however the problem here is let's say the problem we have uh, so far let's say somebody wants to access a product of some kind so they'll have to go to our website and then they'll type something like product and then uh, milk and then milk number five or something like that so once we do this you notice that it says object not found and this is because our server is trying to look for this folder public product milk five but such a folder does not exist and this is why it's saying object not found so we need to change this thing to behave differently we need to tell it that no matter what is written in there 
only access the index page because the index page is the only page we're going to be using. So to do that, we go back to uh, we go back to our public folder and inside this public folder we create a new file and this is another HT access file okay now in here we're going to put some code but uh, I don't have time to oops I can't find the code here oh there is a code right there okay so this is the code we need to put in here so let me explain this code a little bit so forget about this uh, rewrite base uh, this is not uh, required and this one right here so this is the main code we want rewrite so first of all let's uh, switch on our rewrite engine like that okay so type that exactly take care of the capital letters here okay and then let's come back and write uh, this one so these are the two things that I really need. So let's save this one as .htaccess again, but this time it's inside the public folder. So save that. Great. So now if I refresh the page, you notice that I don't get that error anymore, but I got this instead. So what's happening here is this. Let me go back here. You see index.php equals to that. So we don't want it to write index.php. Uh, let me come back to here. Uh -huh. So what I want to do here instead, what this is doing is telling that it's saying this means beginning, this means end, this means all, all files. So it's saying anything that is sent through the URL should be di diverted to the index.php regardless what it is. So send it to the index.php. And then here, let's put something like URL equals. So what I've done here, I'm telling it that uh, this first item, uh, whatever you get there, shove it inside this URL variable. Uh, these are flags, but uh, no need to know what these are. So just copy this and write it the way it is. And then we'll add a few things here, though in case it's an actual file or an actual folder, ignore these rewrites so we'll copy that as well to put it there oh great actually there's one more thing that's uh, remaining multi views let's put one more thing and say options multi views oh actually let's just leave it there this is fine okay so let me close this now Boom. and if i refresh now you see that it says url product milk 5 because that's the the name we put there url so now i can access whatever is in here inside url but also if i don't put any extra stuff here i get nothing i get an empty array so keep that in mind so let's use this information we have now to create a router okay so let me go back here now what i want is to separate these names the product the this product milk and five so this product is going to be my controller. The milk is going to be my method inside that controller. And five is going to be a parameter that I send to the database to retrieve that particular item. Okay. So to see that in action, let's come back here. So instead of uh, this, we're going to say URL like so. But let's do this inside the split here. Okay, so I'll cut this and put it in here and say return. I want you to return, uh, wait, explode. So I want it to explode. Now explode converts a string into an array using a specific, uh, the item is separated by a specific character. So in my case, it's this one. So as you can see, this is the character in between the values. So that's why I'm using that. So I'll split it there and assign them to an array. Okay. So explode. Now, what is the string I want to explode? The string is the get URL. Okay. Great. So once I do this, uh, syntax error, online 14. Where is that? Oh, 
I forgot my semicolon there. Never forget your semicolon, please. Printer. Oh, sorry. This one is not required. Okay. So now what I can do is call this one split URL, right? So I can just say URL is equal to split URL like this. And then now what I want to do is echo the URL. Now, I don't want to just echo this thing. I want to show it. Uh, so let me use a print readable. I want to, let me use some echoing here. Echo pre tags like this. Duplicate those and move the pre tags down like so. Okay, great. So let me see what, what this uh, split URL is and I undefined. Okay, sorry, my bad. I did this mistake myself. So I'm going to say this. I'm supposed to say this so that it knows I'm talking about this function. Great. Okay, so now it's working. So we have an array which these items are split from there. Now imagine I have an extra slash at the end or two or three or four slashes. If I do this, it's going to split between those and give me an extra uh, location which I don't need. So to avoid such a thing, I will trim this get variable here. So I'll just say trim this guy. Now usually trim will remove spaces, but you can put a comma there and tell it exactly what to remove. So this time it's going to remove the slash there. So if I do this now, I don't get that extra one, even though I've got extra things there at the end. So that's how you clean things. Now, we can't trust the information that's coming from the URL because a user can type anything in here. So if we rely on that information, we might get hacked. So to avoid that, we're going to filter the variables in here. So conveniently, there's a function called filter var. Filter. Like that. So filter variable. So instead of any other variable, I'm just going to put the entire thing in there. Boom. So now I'm filtering what's in here, right? Now I can put a comma here and say uh, filter underscore sanitize uh, underscore URL. Okay. So how did I know how to put this flag? I googled filter var, but you can go to php.net, everything is there. Whatever function you don't understand, just go to php.net and type it there. It will explain what that is. So this is going to sanitize everything in here, which is good. So you won't see any changes here. We are good to go. All right. So now what we want to do here, since we have split our, our URL, we want to look for a controller with this name and a method with that name okay so now let's go back here and type something more familiar like home slash index okay so home index and then product something like this so to we do have a home controller so that would be good and then we have to create an index method inside that controller so let me come back here and let's do exactly uh, now I like seeing the arrays displayed in this manner. So I'm simply going to create a function to keep this, uh, this thing going. So I'm going to go to uh, inside core. What we can do is create a new file and we're going to name it functions.php. So this one is going to be function. So this is for when you want to just put a, a quickly put a function in there. Okay. So let me come function.php and then here php tags and then create a function. So this function I'm going to name it uh, show like this and put stuff in there and then put that code in there. Okay, so instead of URL here, we can put stuff. So I just want anything I put inside show, inside these uh, brackets, it should be displayed with pre-tags. That's all it's doing. So I'll just say show, whatever that is. So let me close this for now. 